up, do you? What a waste. Hey, Tsukumo. Oh, Yagamishi. What is it this time? I'm trying to keep this on the down low here, but I'm looking for bugs. Think you can help me with that? <laughs> you know who you're talking to, right? Of course I can. Thought so. Well, any time works for me as long as I've got the parts. You're gonna make them by hand? I won't find a safer pair of hands than literally my pair of hands. Plus, you get a friend discount. If you say so. Anyway, what do you need? I'll run to a department store and pick them up. <laughs> no need. Here's a riddle. You can get me from here, but I am not here. What am I? What? <laughs> Online shopping! Things get here in no time with rush shipping. I'll just need you to give me the cash. How much are we talking? For parts and labor, let's say... a hundred thousand? That's with your friend discount? <laughs> yes, sir. I'm taking a loss on it for you, Yagamishi. <sighs> All right. Just let me know when you have the money, and I'll put the order in. <laughs> that money burning a hole in your pocket? It's gonna run you a hundred grand for parts and labor. Here you go. <laughs> Thanks. It's gonna take a while, but I'll let you know when I'm done. Sounds good. Stay down. Matana.
いらっしゃいませ。ありがとうございました。Hello. <laughs> The long-awaited time has come. Your order is ready. Long? Felt like you did that pretty fast, actually. I'll be waiting in the usual spot. Mind coming over? Not at all. See you in a bit. Almost there. Nice. That'll do it.
Ah, well, you got here fast, Yagamishi. Says the guy who makes bugs in ten minutes. <laughs> well, I can't refuse a compliment. Here you go. They're designed to blend into a power outlet, so just plug it in. Oh, and the signal range is 100 meters. It'll even go through metal plates or other obstacles, meaning you can listen from, say, the roof of a building? That's perfect. I think this is gonna work. You can turn them off remotely, too. So you don't have to listen constantly if you don't want to. And I have to say, even a great detective like you would have trouble finding these, Yagamishi. <laughs> I'm not sure that's entirely true, but thanks anyway. You're a lifesaver, Tsukumo. <laughs> You're very welcome. Just stopping by for a bit. More like I got dragged here against my will. You get the bugs, Chuck? Sure did. Good. Take a seat. So, you want to tap the Matsugane office? Kaito-san told you, huh? Yep. Now explain what you told me, Sugiyura-kun. Well, uh... It's impossible. No way I can sneak in. They've literally got guys on watch, man. The cameras had seen me going in and out, too. And think about what would happen if I got caught. They'd beat me to death. Guess we're screwed. This isn't a joke, Kaito-san. What are we gonna do? All right, all right, chill. I thought up something else. If Sugiura doesn't want to sneak in, we'll just find you a disguise. Huh? Just hear me out. You know this guy, Tak? Who's that? Guy's got a killer jacket. One of the Matsugane goons, yeah? Yep. Name's Tashiro-kun. The snazziest fucking Yakuza in town. Guy never takes his shades off, even at night. You know, his height and build are awful close. You better not be thinking what I think you're thinking. If Tashiro-kun was wearing a face mask, nobody'd know he was actually a different person. They wouldn't have a clue. Good idea. So what? You want me to dress up like Tashiro-kun and infiltrate the Matsugane office? Bingo. First things first, we gotta find him and grab his clothes and shades. The rest will be simple. Just walk in there and plant the bugs. Oh, and here I thought I was gonna be able to sit this part out. It's all in your capable hands now. I gotta say, Kaito-san, you really thought this through. You know, before today, I always thought I was going to end up back in the family somehow. What's that? But there's no way. Not now that I defied the boss. Guess there's no turning back, though. Might as well see this through to the end. Gotcha. Now let's go get Tashiro-kun's clothes. Like 
Let's hit it. I mean, I'm no judge of fashion or anything, but this dude really never takes off his shades. Kaito-san. Sup? Do you, uh, have any idea where Tashiro-kun is? Let me think. Last I heard, he was working at a cabaret. Looking there might be our best bet. Which club? I think it was called Emerald Hills, over on Shichifuku Street. Sounds like we have our next stop, then. Let's roll, Tom. Do you have a second? Welcome, sirs. Table for two? Actually, we want to ask you a question. This place is a Matsugane joint, yeah? Uh, yes, sir. Why do you ask? We're looking for somebody. You know a guy named Tashiro? Tashiro? Flashy jacket, always wears his sunglasses. You gotta know the guy. Oh, him. There you go. I knew you'd know him. Any idea where he is? <laughs> Actually... He was in the club just a second ago. A customer was giving us some trouble, though. So he saw them out. Personally. I'm guessing they didn't go out for drinks. Where did Tashiro take him? Probably toward Tenkaichi Street. He said there's a back alley nobody ever goes in there. <laughs> Smart. If you're gonna beat the crap out of someone, better to do it where nobody's gonna find you. Sometimes I think you kind of miss doing that shit. Anyway, let's get moving. Right. Thanks, pal. Oh, of course. Listen, you old fuck! Didn't you see the sign? You can look, but not touch! <laughs> Please, I never touched anyone! Huh? Bullshit, you didn't! The girls know all about your pervy ass! There he is, Tashiro Kuro. You, uh, weren't kidding about how he dresses. I'm actually kind of impressed. Huh? 
Wait! You're... Yagami! Oh, congrats. You recognize the guy your whole family's after. Shut it, asshole! Um, I I'm just gonna... Hey! Get the hell back here! Damn it! He got away because of you! Let me guess. You made that up to try and squeeze cash out of the poor bastard. A guy like that wouldn't cop a feel even if your girl wanted it to. Huh? The fuck do you know? Huh. Sounds like you were right on the money. Of course. That's how shit goes around here. It's only fair that we take his clothes, yeah? What do you mean? The hell are you talking about? We'll give them back as soon as we're done. Won't be long, promise. Fuck off! You got any idea how much these threads cost? Not a one. But you know how dangerous Kamurocho is. Should've expected somebody want to jump you. We won't have to hurt you if you just hand them over. Everything will stay nice and clean, too. It's a win-win. So, are you stripping or not? What kind of question is that, pretty boy? If you want my clothes, you're gonna have to rip them off! Okay, let's just get this over with, Talk. Yep, don't want anyone walking in on this. Shit, this guy's fucking loaded. His wallet's burst into the goddamn seams. Don't take his money, we're not thieves. Yeah, yeah, I know. Wait, don't clothes count as stealing? Like I said earlier, we're just borrowing them for a bit. If you say so, you're the lawyer. Man, they fit even better than I was expecting. You look good, Doc. That's the last thing I want to hear. Anyway, you better get to the Matsugane office and plant those bugs before our friend wakes up. Speaking of, Kaito-san, think you can take care of him? Huh? What do you mean? We can't leave the guy naked outside this time of year. <laughs> Always a big softy. Sure, I'll handle him. Can't go with you anyway, not looking like regular old Kaito. Thanks. Talk. Don't mess this up. I won't. Hello? <laughs> what in the absolute fuck is this? <laughs> oh, spare me. They're not my clothes. <laughs> okay. Okay, I'm okay. See you out front of the Matsugane office. All right, I'll be right over.